Hello and welcome to Foundation. This is a city builder and personally, I absolutely love city builders. Let's just get into it, shall we? So we're gonna be making a new game right here. Map Hills, Coastal, I have no idea. Let's let's go for, let's go for Hills, Valley. Uh, I, you know, actually, I, I, I kind of, I kind of want Coastal, so let's do that. All right, so here we go. Now, I have been a huge fan of city builders for a very, very long time indeed, and we're going to have some fun here. So let's see if I can actually make something of this. So let's buy this land real quick. We have a new quest. Build a village center. All right, so let, let me actually just do that. So if I can... Uh, oh, there we go. Build public buildings. All right, so we're going to have to build a village center right here. Okay, so... This is a very organic city builder as well. And I think, you know what? Look at this. This is an actually really, really nice piece of land. And we're going to build it there. There we go. There's our village center. All right. So now we have all of these other things available. New zone extraction is available. Okay, so let's place a, uh, let's place a, a lumber camp. We're going to need one of those 100%. So lumber camp. And uh, where do we want the lumber camp to be, actually? Because there's a huge amount of wood over in this direction. So I think I'm actually going to place it round about here. There we go. And hopefully my friends are going to go over there and uh, do that. There we go. They might they might actually be starting to do it. But uh, I'm actually unsure. Did I actually do it do it right? Oh no, I may have placed it way too deep into the forest and then they're going to get eaten by wolves. That would not be too good, would it? No. Uh, do I... Oh no, I can't even see... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, you can zoom in this much? Wow. That's actually kind of crazy. There's the lumber camp. There we go. Okay, so we can now... <laughs> <laughs> we can now put a put a put a builder on there so we can assign the builder to it which is just absolutely insane okay so let me see if i can do that all right so as you can see we have philippe here who is 24 years old male and his happiness is not very good so we are going to make him a woodcutter and hopefully he will uh, oh actually builder no we need a builder oh my bad my bad okay so we need a builder there we go so we've assigned a builder so philippe is going to be our builder and he will do a good job, or at least I hope so. And there he off. There, there, there he off. Yes, there he off. Yep, off he goes. <laughs> uh, that's what I meant. Okay, so who else do we have here? We have Victoria. We have Robin. We have Lillian. Uh, we have John. Lily. So we have Lillian and Lily, and then we also have Herman. Oh, okay, very, very good. And I, I hope I didn't miss out on anyone. But uh, yes. I, you know, I made a huge error by putting the lumber mill very deep into the forest because now I, c I can't see it. Yes, I cannot see it. Well, uh, that's just how it's going to have to be. That is just how it's going to have to be. So, otherwise, I would like to get a gathering hut because this actually produces berries. And I, I'm thinking that we will probably need berries. I mean, let's face it, we probably will. And we should probably put some people on wood cutting, shouldn't we? So let's get, so let's get a guy on wood cutting. And the gathering hut will go around, I guess, go around here or something. Oh, yeah, we need some more builders, actually. So let's actually do that. This guy's a woodcutter. He's going to be doing his thing soon. Let's do a builder. So he can, uh, he can also do some building. And let's make Herman a builder as well. So let's make three people the builder. And then we'll have a bunch of other people doing their own thing. And we'll see how that goes. I would like to speed up time. Let's let's speed it up by times two. That should work out quite nicely. Oh yes, by the way, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Personally, if you're a fan of City Builders, you probably already have heard of this game. But this is this is just fantastic. I, I love I love these kinds of things. So there you go. We actually assigned a woodcutter ahead of the quest, amusingly enough. And uh, we now have to paint an extraction zone. There is no extraction zone for the woodcutter. Okay, so extraction zone. Where, where is, where's that? Where is the extraction zone? Because we need to, we need to find that somewhere. Paint development zones. Oh, there we go. Extraction zone allows wood cutting, stone cutting, and berry gathering. Okay, so let's just do that. All, all around here. All around here. There we go. Fantastic. Seems like a good plan to me. And we should probably also put the berries around there too. 
So there we go. You have a new quest. Produce some berries. And that's exactly what I'm going to attempt to do because we have some berries and we are going to assign Lily to this. She's a forager. There we go. And now she will produce berries. Fantastic. Maybe we should put two people on berries. Okay, uh, forager. There we go. So we're going to have two people harvesting berries and then we'll, we'll switch them out as and when we need to. I think that seems like a good idea to me. But look, look at how cool this land actually looks. I would assume that we're probably going to be able to expand outward as well because this, as I say, is a very, very good looking game and it is very organic in the way things work. You have a new quest. Build a granary. Okay, so that, we should probably build that, shouldn't we? So, where is that? The granary is around here. This is, what is this used for? Used for stocking and trading resources or food, raw food, luxurious food. Okay. Good for, good for everything. Good for everything. Okay, so you can also, how do you rotate it? Ah, you hold down left control and then you just move your mouse a little bit. All right, that's, that's actually fine. Gonna put this round about, uh, round about here because it's right next to the berries and I think that will probably make the most sense. And it seems like only one builder at a time can actually do anything on a particular area, but the next builder can then take over or take over from the from the next one, so it's kind of like a a chain of builders. I don't think that really works. I, I don't think we really need that many builders, but maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they do. All right. So there's the lumber mill. So yeah, J James. James is actually the, the, the guy that's doing the, the lumber mill? That's hilarious. James is getting wood. That's my name. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, we went there. And we should probably stay away from there. All right, so build a granary, assign a new transporter. Oh, okay, so Lillian's going to be a transporter. There we go, transports resources. And assign berries to the granary. Oh, okay, okay. So... How do I actually do that? Oh, we need stone. Never mind. We need stone. The granary is not yet done. And I actually do have... How much How much stone do I have? Do I not have any? I think I might not have any stone. I think we probably want to... We probably want to get uh, a stone cutter camp or something like that. Because this produces stone. And do I see any other stone anywhere else? Yeah, there's some stone there. There. Oh, well. That's not really going to help us out too much, is it? So we're just going to build some extraction zones round about here there we go and then that's going to go quite nicely i hope uh, we need some more tools to be able to do that okay so we need a stone cutter as well so james is a level three woodcutter right now he's doing fantastically getting wood very nice and i don't really need that many builders do i so philippe is going to be a stone cutter instead once that's ready and I do think that, yeah, they can gather multiple berries at once. So that's actually really good too. All right, so we do, we do need some stone as I've seen, seen here. So we will need to start getting that. We probably need some more transporters as well. Let's face it. We probably do need some more transporters. So let's see if I can actually do that. Okay, so let's... Uh, oh, this guy's unemployed. So yeah, let's get another transporter. Transports resources to warehouses. Well, I actually don't have any warehouses right now, so it probably makes sense for me to get some, but I don't actually have any as far as I can tell. As you can see, I just have market, wooden bridge. Ooh, this is actually really nice. I wonder whether I can actually build a bridge. Oh, okay, it's just a small bridge. Okay, I, I was thinking to myself, maybe I can make it massive, you know? Maybe I can make it really, really big. No, that's not going to work. Oh, well, that's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And we're going to get some stone from here as well. Okay, so what I would like to do is... No. Oh, military? We can actually get military? Oh, that's cool. I am going to look forward to getting that. Thank you very much. Okay, so here's our village information window. We have eight villages. And we can rename the village. Reformia, of course. Reformia will be the village. Thank you very much. And I would like to see some information on my villagers themselves. Always display zoning areas. Ooh, that's actually quite useful. I think that is actually quite useful. 
desirability layers. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Okay, and then we have workplace. Okay, so you can see here. So these are the limits as to what you can actually do, which I think is actually really cool. So you can basically place more people on stone cutting, more people on wood cutting, and so on and so forth. That's actually really nice. I think I would like to. Uh, is this done yet? Ah, almost, almost. But yeah, once that's done, then we should be in a pretty decent position. Maybe we should get some more stone cutters. Can I, can I actually put some more people on that? Yeah, there are no available villagers because I literally have put everyone as a builder, which I think is a bad idea. So let's put Robin on stone cutting as well, and he'll go off and do that. And there's two foragers, that's fine. John's a transporter. Herman will be our builder because he's the first one that gained level two as a builder. So I think that's actually fine. And getting two stone cutters is probably going to be very, very useful for us. I actually wonder how much stone is actually available here because I actually can't tell that, which is strange, but okay. Oh, severity high, what? All is good. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, yeah, so the workplace list is doing fine. I'm actually going to turn off the zoning areas. There we go. Okay, so the granary is now complete, which is really, really nice. And what else do I want to do here? Well, we have to assign the berries, don't we? So let's uh, let's do that. There we go. Berries to slot one. V fantastic. There we go. Done. That's really good. And you have a new quest. Fill the needs of your newcomers. Uh, okay, so we need to build a well, build a market, assign a new market tender, and sell the resource berries in a market. Okay, easy enough. All right, so we need a well. Okay, so this provides water, and we need stone for that. That's absolutely fine. So I think probably really close by to the city center would be really good for that. And then we also need to build a market. All right, okay. Okay, so basically we need a tent, food stall, good stall, luxury goods. Okay, so we need a food stall, and we're going to place that... Uh, which way around is this? Ah, there we go. Something like this. Something like that would be pretty good. And then we will also... This is used as a decoration. Uh, that gives you extra splendor. And I'm not entirely sure what splendor does right now. Probably makes your people happier or something like that, but... Uh, don't really need it specifically. Uh, might might make sense. Okay, let's just do it because it's fun. Boom. And there you go. All right, that actually looks pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, start construction on that and we'll see how it goes. Ah, now it seems like I have just realized that unfortunately the tent actually does require cloth and I don't think I actually have cloth available as you can see at the top here we literally just have stone berries and tools as well as wood and that's it so I don't think I'm probably going to be able to oh no no actually he does have cloth oh okay um, apparently we have we have cloth from somewhere okay that's pretty fantastic so now we have a market tender assigned here and we can actually start selling berries and uh, that's going to be really nice for us so as you can see there we go we have someone there and they're going to sell berries fantastic right and we have a new quest increase your population by maximizing immigration probability in other words assign a job to all your villagers that's what i've done and raise the happiness of your village to 100 it has to be 100 from 56 oh, wow they're actually increasing their their uh happiness quite a lot by six actually every a uh, couple of seconds, which is actually really nice. So hopefully, if it uh, if it actually continues like this, we will be in a really really good position, and I don't even need to worry about uh, actually doing anything. And there you go. I think that's it. Done. That was uh, <laughs> that was easy enough, right? Maybe. Is it is it actually going to uh, is it actually going to do it? Maybe. Um, ah, there we go. It did it. Fantastic. From the one people who were passing by, one decided to join your village. Ah, oh, well, that's... I guess that's nice. You know, that's, that's pretty good. So we have an additional villager now that has joined us. And I would assume that we probably want to do something like actually start building some planks and things so that we can actually build houses. Because these guys actually don't even have houses right now, which is not very good. But as you can see, who do we have here? I don't even know who this is. Can't click on her right now. 
But uh, yeah, she's actually what? How far? How far away is she? Wow, she. Oh, we're all the way over there. Wow, that that, that is just insane. That this is exactly what I mean, though. This is an absolutely crazy scale. Just think about how we have been playing in such a small area, and this entire island can be built on. I would assume, at the very least, you know, because let's face it, there's no way that they, you, you're gonna you're just gonna be constrained to this small area. There's no way that that's going to be the case. So, there we go. House, Rustic Church, and Lord Manor are now available. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, so one villager that lacks space for housing. All right, so I'm just going to pause the game for a real quick second here. So we need to build a Lord Manor. Assign a great hall function to a Lord Manor room, and at the end of the month, promote a villager to surf. Unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. Right. Okay, so look at this. We've just gained a huge amount more, which is actually kind of crazy. Okay, so what do we need for the Lord Manor? So as I said before, we need planks. And how do we get planks? We build a sawmill. So I'm going to build a sawmill right here. And this is going to require wood. So I'm actually just going to place... The sawmill, uh, I'm just going to spin it around a little bit. And we'll place it around about here. And then we also need to build some houses and stuff like that, don't we? So where, where, where are the houses right now? Uh, I can't even see them right now for some reason. There's a forester, forester camp. We require 12 serfs to get that. Stonemason hut. Produce polished stone in exchange for stone. Oh, that might actually be pretty good later down the line. I don't see any houses though. There's walls, estate manager, so you can see here that there are a huge amount of different things that you can do with estates and everything. And then you also have territory, so you can see territory. You can buy additional land. As I said, you can buy additional land. And I think we're probably going to expand over to here, I think. This is probably going to be the way we will go because you can see here they have berries, they have stone, they have wood of course. And that's going to be a really good way to go. There, there are berries over there as well, but there isn't any stone. So we'll see how it goes. What about what about the budget? Okay, so the budget and villager consumption is 90 gold. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. We are gaining gold over time, but only a very small amount. And there's also trade routes, as you can see right here. So dependent on what kind of resources you actually have. So if you have 20 planks, then I could technically unlock this for the neighboring city which would give mm, they're buying they're buying berries for four gold which is actually pretty good and they're also buying uh planks for five gold they're buying wine for 120 gold wow okay crazy yeah i don't actually have wine at the moment so that's not that's not going to be something that i will be able to do but yeah i would love to be able to build the lord manor so uh, yeah, it's, it, I'm going to I'm gonna build a little bit of it so far. And you can actually customize how it looks as well, as you can see right here. So these are all mandatory. So if I select the core, so you can see the core right here. Wow, this is kind of crazy, isn't it? Okay, so... Uh, where do I want to put it? Uh, wait, do I need to have foundations first or anything? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, so I have no idea where I'm actually going to put this because I, I guess right here. Let's just turn it around a little bit. Let's put it around there, I guess. And then we can put a door on the front, like so. And then we can actually make an, a little bit of an extension there as well. And there's a tower. And uh, put the tower over there. And you can actually make this bigger as well, as you can see. If you want to, you can make it taller. I guess we'll make it a little bit taller. And then we have a wood extension, so I could technically put that somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's not really going to work, is it? No, that doesn't really work out too well, but I, I guess I'll just put it at the side there. And then we have a wooden tower on the other side. We could just put it on the back. And let's just make that a little bit taller as well. And there you go. So that's basically it. <laughs> you can make it however cool looking or however absolutely awful like I have as you like and there is also a roof chimney so let's let's make that there as well and you can also have like a water basin pruned hedge and so on and so forth but i'm 
I don't really need that. We have nine. It needs 93 planks. I don't even, I don't think I even need that to be honest. Oh, these are actually mandatory. Yeah, these are actually mandatory. So yeah, 93 planks it's going to take. That's going to be quite a lot. But I am going to pause building construction on this and we're going to prioritize this instead because this is very much needed. So we'll see how that goes. Let's speed things up a little bit. Can I increase it even further? Nope. Times three is the fastest that we can go. But I think that will be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more from me and Foundation, then by all means let me know in the comments. Otherwise, you can check out the game through the link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.